Hey, what's up everybody? Here's some of the stones I brought back from the river while I was out prospecting for gold. We did find some gold. See right there. It's a nice little chunk and there's pieces there, 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 there. That's only half of a, uh, half, half cleanup. I haven't done the other half. I was gonna do a live cleanup. But uh, I've been finding some awesome little garnets too. I think they're garnets, they're like purple, purplish red. You can see there, that's a real tiny one. I took most of the bigger ones out. Um, those I'm not real sure what those are. They look more solid. I'm not real sure on that. Anyways, <clears throat> I got these really cool looking yellow, um, really strange yellow, look like quartz, but it could be citrine, possibly, but the shape is kind of strange. It's got all the flat surfaces. Get a flashlight and I'll show you. They're translucent. They're just not polished or anything. This one's super cool. I guess this is more like an agate or something. This is translucent. Semi-translucent as well. This could be... I guess it's agate, probably. Or a jasper or something. This has a bunch of mica and stuff in it. Kind of look like it might have gold in it, but I haven't looked real close. This one is translucent. I'll be cutting some of these and polishing them, especially those ones right there. Um, we got these other ones. A lot of mica out there. Mica, crazy. Where's the mica? There it is right there. It's hard to find the gold because the mica is just everywhere and it's super shiny. It looks just like gold. Well, it's kind of... It's too shiny to be gold. This rock's pretty heavy though, it's kind of weird. Could be some metal inside of it. This one's slept full of mica. Not seeing any visible gold. Could be some inside of there. Let's break them open. I tried to cut one open with my saw, but my saw blade is completely toast. Um, let's take a look at these over here. I haven't really examined these very good. I just brought them back, so. But it has a weird. I mean, I didn't bring back much. I could bring back buckets full, but. I've already got tons of stuff, so. But look at that crystal structure. Looks like a barrel almost. Like a half a barrel. But it's, um. It doesn't have a. I don't know what color that'd be. Clear? I didn't bring it back because of that reason I was hoping there might be gold in this one. Something just stuck to my finger. It looked like gold. It was weird. Let's see. There's 
there's no way of telling really. Because there's gold already in there. Uh, let's see. Let's do a quick look. I'll be cutting and polishing some of these. Not this one. I don't know what this is. Might be just a piece of quartz. Let's see more mica. Once I get a rock crusher, I can crush all this stuff up and I'll be able to really know if there's gold in there. It's really difficult when you don't have don't have a rock crusher. Believe me, I've been looking for a long time. Got a few more here. This, mic, this one was like shiny as crate. It's so shiny when I was at the river. So I was like, maybe there's some gold in there. Because it looked way shinier than the others. Like, it was just glowing down there. Hard to see. I don't really see any. There's mica for sure. Kind of, <clears throat> excuse me. Kind of looks like smoky quartz right there. Maybe that's what that is. <clears throat> Might be a good one to cut and polish. Mica books. Yeah, my fingers. That'd be crazy if there was gold stuck to my fingers. Anyways, let me show you this. Um... Oh yeah, this one I thought was pretty cool because it was red and it had the mica on there. This you can make a um, you can make a couple of nice gemstones out of this. Cut and polish them. It's pretty interesting. The red. Most time you find the mica, it's just in the regular white quartz. You don't see the red. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know what's causing that red. It's kind of strange. I have to examine that better at a later date it's weird hmm. anyways let's take a look at these yellow ones with the flashlight <clears throat> i'll show you how translucent they are bear with me I hate this stupid foam holder. Okay. Here's that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of yellow, or it's pretty much yellow. You see the crystal structure. It's kind of strange, almost barrel looking. All right, here's my flashlight. You see how translucent it is? That's pretty thick too. It's uh, at least an inch, inch and a half thick.
It's a pretty cool one. It'll cut and polish good. And this one here. I don't know what this outside stuff is. Maybe it's just the outside. <clears throat> Look at this one gloves. It's pretty cool. It's got something inside of there. Like black lines or something. Got that film or that crust on that one side, so I guess you can only see on this side. Right, this side. So, oh yeah, this one here. This is a huge piece. Oh. Um, See how it's pretty translucent. The thing is, the thing is like at least an inch and a half thick. You see how it glows? Like glows yellow. <clears throat> That'll be a pretty cool piece to cut and polish. But uh, those are some of the stones I found. Those yellow ones should turn out pretty good. <clears throat> this is what they turn out to be. Gemstones like that when they're cut and polished. This is just on top stick, so. This one's cut and polished, it glows and crazy. The light's too bright for that thing. But those are some of the stones I brought back <clears throat> in my uh, prospecting will continue. I'll see you guys out there on my next live. And please subscribe and like and share. Thanks for watching.